Welcome to day five of Good News Across Sports. We're so glad that you're here today. I'm Miss Mandy, and I'm the children's director here at Lake of the Woods Church. We were going to begin, and I'm sorry to say this, but Pastor Adam and Olay, they're not here yet, and I, I'm kind of embarrassed. I don't know where they are. They were supposed to be here by now. Oh, hi, Miss Mandy. Hi, Pastor Adam. I'm sorry, I'm late. Miss Mandy, Ole decided that he wasn't going to come today because he's tired of good news across sports and he wants to do something completely different. Well, that's disappointing. I know the kids would love to see Ole on the last day of camp. Well, I'm not giving up. I'm holding out that he's going to come back. And you know what? I'm sure if the kids come tonight to the drive through parade to get their medal and their t-shirt, I bet you Ole might be here. I sure hope so. And Ole, if you're watching, I think you better pay attention to, to huddle time today. Today's story is about the prodigal son. Now, who's ready for some fun activities? and owner of Life Skills Taekwondo in Culpeper and in Madison, Virginia. Welcome to my online mini Taekwondo class. I hope you guys are ready to go ahead and have a little fun with me and are ready to go out there and learn a little bit about martial arts. All right, the first thing I'm going to go out there and show you today is going ahead and bowing in. In martial arts, as well as in life, you need to learn how to be still and how to go ahead and respect one another. So, the Lord Jesus says to be still and know that I am God. So, the be still actual position is called chariot. And that's, that's Korean, and what that means in English is attention. So, everyone, put your feet together and say, chariot. Excellent. Let's try that one more time. Enunciate it correctly. Say, Chariot. All right. Awesome. Everyone say, Kyungne. Kyungne means to bow or show respect. All right. Let's say that one more time. Ready? Kyungne. Awesome. And Sha means to be at ease. Those are your three first actual positions that you need to learn in Taekwondo because if you can't be still, then Mr. Chung cannot teach you. And if you have no self-control, no one can actually go out there and teach you. So it's very important that you go ahead and take these first three positions and actually do them well, all right? So let's go out there and do review that very quickly again. The whole class together say, Chariot! Everyone say, Gangna! Everyone say, Sha! All right, I'm gonna make me a little more quicker with those moves there. Are you guys ready? I hope you are. Chariot! Chariot! Gangna! Sha! Sha! Chariot! Sha! Chariot! Gangna! 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 Ha ha! 
I made you bow like five times straight. All right, excellent. Anyway, uh, my name is Mr. Chung, and I'm glad you're actually going ahead and uh, enjoying uh, my first Taekwondo class that I'll be doing for you guys online. We'll learn some basic stuff, and uh, one of the biggest things that I actually love to go ahead and discuss, and it's something that you control, is your attitude, all right? So, God controls everything in this world, but he gives you the freedom to decide how you're going to react and how you're going to be each and every day. So when I start the class over here, one of the first things I always ask my kids is, how are you doing today? All right. So as I say that over here, I want everyone in the room to say, I feel super fantastic, sir. Are you ready? All right, here we go. How is everyone feeling today? Super fantastic, sir. Usually it's not loud when the first time I say that. So I want you to go out there and be as loud as you can because another important thing about Taekwondo is controlling your attitude and for you to have a great leader voice. So I'm gonna try that one more time. I want you to say as loud as you can, I feel super fantastic, sir. How is everyone doing today? Super fantastic, sir. All right. Let's bow in, all right? When we bow in, we're going to do the three commands. Actually, the first two first. And I am going to teach you guys the student creed. And what the student creed is, it's the creed that Mr. Chung lives by with his students, all right? So I want you to repeat that with me as we bow in, all right? Everyone say, Chariot! Everyone say, Kyungna! And repeat after me. Say, to build true confidence through Christ in my mind, honesty in my heart, and strength in the body. To keep friendship with one another and to build a strong and happy community. Never fight to achieve selfish ends, but to develop Christ is right. And shaw. All right. This time I'm going to say it a little bit slowly. And I want you to say the exact same thing I am. All right. Ready. Chariot. Kyungna. I will be pausing. Student Creed, to build true confidence through Christ in my mind, honesty in my heart, and strength in my body, to keep friendship with one another, and to build a strong and happy community. Never fight. To achieve selfish ends, but to develop, Christ is right. And Shaw. All right. We are ready to go out there and start now. You guys have learned the basic bows of Chudiyat and Kyung Nam, and you've learned my student creed over here. Mr. Chung is a big component of building up character in my studio, all right? I don't care how great you are. I don't care if you can kick super high and throw a tornado kick. If you don't have good character, Mr. Chung does not want to teach you, all right? So before I teach you how to go out there and throw good kicks and punches, I want you to work on your character over here, all right? So anyway, we're going to go ahead and start out by doing some exercise. It's a pre-warm-up pre routine that I usually do, and I'm gonna teach you some stretches, and we'll get into some blocking techniques today. And if you guys are good, Mr. Chung will teach you how to punch and kick, all right? So everyone, let's go ahead and get things started. Try to get position. Let's start out with some jumping jacks, all right? We're gonna do 20 together. Be loud, I wanna hear your leader voice which is loud and clear and making sure that people around you can hear you, 
All right, let's count to 20 as we do 20 jumping jacks. On your mark, get set, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Johnny, yeah, awesome. All right, we're gonna go out there and do a few bend and reaches. You can put your hands up high. You can touch your stomach, touch your toes, touch your stomach, and lift up your hand again. Let's go out there and do 20 of those, all right? Ready? Stomach, toes, stomach, one. Ready? Stomach, toes, stomach, two. A little bit faster. Three. Keep on going. Four. Keep on going. Five. Awesome. Six. Faster. Seven. Eight. Nine, 10, 10 more, you got this, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, all right, excellent. All right, we're gonna go ahead and continue with our exercises, everyone. We're gonna go ahead and get on the ground, all right? So I'm gonna take my camera, move it towards a bottom level here. Hope you can see me here now. Excellent. And we're gonna do some push-ups. Are you guys ready? Yes, sir. Everyone get down. If you cannot go and hold your body weight, get on your knees, all right, and do push-ups. You can do this push-ups the same way. We're gonna do 10 push-ups together. Ready, everyone? And go. Down, one. Down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, seven, down, eight, down, nine, down, and ten. Excellent. All right. Staying on your stomach, we're going to do what I call Superman, Supergirl position. All right. You're on your stomach. Hands go out, and your legs get off the ground, and you're going to hold that position like Superman. All right? Ready? Up and hold. Let's go. Everyone count with me in Korean. Say, Hana, Dul, Set, Net, Tasat, Yasat, Ilgop, Yada, Ahop, Ya, and down. If you count with me, you just count it in Korean over there. Let's try it in Spanish now. Ready? Up and hold. Say uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, ses, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, and down. Excellent job. All right. We're going to do what I call the dying stink bug position. All right? We're gonna lay on your back. You can put your arms and legs straight up in the air. This really builds up your core, all right? So everyone lie on their back. Arms and legs straight up in the air and hold the position. <clears throat> Let's count and create again. Say, Hana, Dul, Set, Net, Tasat, Yasat, Ilgop, Yada, Aho, ya and down. All righty, everyone, stay on your backs. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and lay on our backs and kick our feet like we're riding a bicycle. All right, we call those bicycles. All right, lay on your back, hands behind your head, and let's go. Kick out those legs, everyone. Let's go. Keep on kicking. Let's count in 10 in English this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome. Everyone roll over, upper body push up, and stretch out your stomach muscles. Excellent. Good. All right. 
And great. Let's stand up. Gonna move the camera up over here so you can see me again. Do 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 do. And we are sort of warmed up over here. We've done some basic exercises. We're gonna work on stretching, all right? Stretching is the key for you to be able to kick higher and not injure yourself, all right? So if you learn how to stretch your muscles properly, you'll be able to go ahead and go ahead and not only have more power with your kicks, but also be able to kick with tremendous amount of height. So we're gonna work on that very quickly. Everyone take their left leg and put it straight. I'm gonna take you to another level so you can see me while I do this. Boop, 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 boop. All right, so you got your left leg straight, hands up high in the heavens, all right? Everyone breathe in the Holy Spirit through your nose and exhale with your mouth all your cares and worries and go down and touch your toes. Make sure you keep that front leg locked and straight, head down low. And we're gonna count. Hana, dul, set, net, tasat, yasat, ilgo, yada, ahop, yub. And release, good, all right? Make sure when you switch legs, your hips and your shoulders are straight, all right? Hands up high in the heavens again, everyone. Breathe in the Holy Spirit and blow out all your cares and worries. Head down low, we'll count in Spanish this time. Say uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. All right. Let's get our legs a little bit more wider. We're gonna do the same exercise. This time, gonna go out there and grab both your ankles or try to touch your palms to the floor, all right? Hands up high in the heavens and down. Hold that position, great. Hold it there, hold it there. You can go ahead and make sure that your legs are locked. Touch your palms to the floor, good. From here, you're gonna bend your left leg and keep your right leg straight. And you're gonna go down towards that straight leg. And you're gonna alternate. I call this the Spider-Man or Spider-Girl position. You're kind of going back and forth, all right? Ready, switch over. Good, head down. Slide over the other way, head down. And keep on alternating back and forth. Excellent, good. Few more times. Awesome. All right, from here, we're gonna get into what we call a lunge, all right? Make sure your front leg is straight and uh, straight pointed towards you, your foot is, that is, and your front leg is bent. Make sure your stance is wide, all right? And now from here, what you wanna do is get your hands on the ground and sort of just bounce up and down. As you do this, this really stretches out your legs for running, all right? Hold down here for a few more seconds. Great, all right, everyone switch legs, say yes sir! All right, excellent. Bounce up and down everyone, let's go. Keep on bouncing. Great. And release, all right. We're gonna go ahead and stay down. I'm gonna go ahead and do another stretch. This really opens up your hips, all right? You wanna slide your knees out and you wanna go ahead and rock back and forth, all right? As your knees slide out here, this opens up your hips for circular kicks that we'll be throwing eventually, all right? Ready everyone, chest down to the ground. From here, good. Everyone count with me, say, Hana, Dul. Set, net, tasat, yasat, ilgo, yada, ahop, and ya. Excellent. All right. Last stretch, everyone. 
the split stretch, all right? Give yourself some room, don't bump into each other. Let your feet slide out and try to do the splits, everyone. Good. Keep on sliding. Keep on sliding. Good. Let's count to 10 in Korean. Say, Hana, Du, Set, Net, Tasat, Yasat, Ilgo, Yada, Aho, and Ya. All right. Excellent. Welcome back to day five of Good News Cross Sports. We're so happy that you guys can join us. Uh, I'm Adam. I'm Devin. I'm Ari. I'm Lily. And I'm Willow. And we are going to start this club with a song. remember we do a word up each day and today's word up is God can forgive so that means that anytime I say word up that you say you jump up and you yell God can forgive so if I yell word up God, God can, can forgive. forgive that's right but it was a little bit weak so I'm gonna say word up God, God can, can forgive. forgive but the thing is that maybe I don't have the word up and Miss Ari has the word up. She can say, Word up! And you have to say, God, God can forgive. forgive! Good job, That was guys. weak. Word up! God, God can, can forgive. forgive! All right, now we're gonna do prayer. So we are going to do prayer time, but today is a little different. We have a little memory game, okay? One of the greatest things about believing in Jesus as your savior is that he's with you all the time and you can pray and talk to him anytime and anywhere. Let's play a little game to remind us when and where we can pray and talk to God. I'm gonna do a motion and you have to guess what it is, okay? Can you talk to God while you're driving in the car with someone? You can, that is a great time to do it. You can pray and ask God to get you and the person you are with safely to wherever you are going. Let's do another one. I'm sweeping the floor. You can talk to God while you're doing your chores. You can talk to him and ask him to help you do your chores with a happy heart. You can thank him that you have dishes to wash, food to eat. Let's do one more. You can talk to God while you're playing outside. You can pray and thank him for giving you friends to play with, and you can thank him for making you healthy and strong to play the game. God wants you to take time out of your day to thank him for all the things he's given you. Let's pray right now. Dear Lord, Thank you for this five-day club. I pray that every kid goes home safely and that they will remember everything we've taught them this week. In name I pray, amen. Amen. Now we're gonna do another song. So stand up.
This song is one of our favorite songs this week, the seven MIT, our seven most important things. Everybody ready? guys you can all have a seat now great job again and we are going to move on to our memory verse for today jeremiah 31 3b we are going to recite today's memory verse jeremiah 31 3 i have loved you with an everlasting heart jeremiah 31 3 this verse explains to us that God's love will never, ever stop. Does anybody know what a thunderstorm or a train are? They are big and very, very strong. But despite how big and strong they are, God's love is bigger and stronger than all of that. God's love will never stop. It will go on forever and ever, and he will always love you. Let's repeat the memory verse one more time. Jeremiah 31, 3. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Jeremiah 31, 3b. Now let's repeat it very quietly. Jeremiah 31, 3b. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Jeremiah 31, 3b. Good job, guys. Now it's time for our Bible lesson. So who here likes birthdays? Yes, everybody likes birthdays. Why do we like birthdays? Maybe it's because you get presents or maybe it's because you get an older, you get a year older. But birthdays are really fun. My favorite part about birthdays is parties. I love parties. All my friends and family come together. It's just a really great time. And you see, in our Bible lesson today, there's someone that went to a party and he just didn't have a good time. Do you guys wanna know why? Well, we're going to find out in our Bible lesson today. Now, remember Jesus? Jesus was talking one day and speaking to lots of people. And he was talking to a lot of people that were considered bad. People that were notorious sinners. People that weren't viewed the best by their, by their friends. People maybe that cheated or stole. And you see, the people that really didn't like the people that Jesus was talking to were the Pharisees. The Pharisees were the leaders, the religious leaders at the time. But you know what? Jesus saw through them and saw their hearts and saw that inside they were selfish and proud. So it didn't matter who he was talking to. He just mattered that he loved them. So one day he was talking to them and he decided to tell them a story. And that story was called a parable. So Jesus was teaching to them in a story. And that story went like this. There once was a man with two sons, and he loved his two sons very much. And the man was quite wealthy. He had a lot of money, and he got to spend a lot of it on his family, on his two sons. But one of his sons, the younger son, 
was very ungrateful and he just wanted the money that would come to him. You see, in their religion, in their um, culture, when the man died, his money would go to his sons evenly. So since there were two sons, the older and the younger, each would get 50% of the man's money when he passed away. But you see, this son, the younger son, was very greedy and he wanted his money now. You see, it says in Luke uh, chapter 15, verse 12, this is exactly what the son said. He said, and the, younger, and the younger son said to his father, Father, give me the share of property that is coming to me. He asked his father for the money that would be given to him when he died before he was even dead. That must have hurt the father a lot. The younger son was acting like he didn't even care about his father. And it really did hurt him. It hurt him because he loved him. And you know what? Our father, our God, loves us even more than the father in this story loved his son. He loves us so much because he created us. He created everything. Everything is something that God created. Maybe you're thinking of the trees around us, the, the grass underneath of us. God created everything, but his most special creation was you. And he loves you so very much. It says in Jeremiah 31, 3b, our memory verse, I have loved you with an everlasting love. That's God saying, God, I have loved you with an everlasting love. An everlasting love is a love that never ends. He loves you that much. And you see, God is also holy, which means he has, has never done anything wrong. Maybe you remember holy from our previous lessons this week. God is completely holy and he loves you. Just like this, the father in our story loved his son. So when the son came up to him and asked him for the money, the father gave it to him. Now let's imagine you just got a lot of money. Think about what you would buy. Maybe you buy a brand new PS5, maybe a cool dirt bike, right? Now the son, he got all this money and he packed his things and he left. He left his family and he left his very sad father. Now he went to a far off place and he started spending all of the money. He met some friends there and he started giving money to them so that they could party like he was. He was drinking and eating as much as he wanted. He was probably buying expensive clothes. He was spending his money very recklessly. He was going his own way. Just like we go our own way when we sin. Who remembers what sin is? Let's all say it together since we should have learned it already this week. Sin is anything we think, say, or do that does not please God or breaks God's laws. Let's say that one more time. Sin is anything we think, say, or do that does not please God or breaks God's laws. Very right. Sin is the bad things that we do when we want to go our own way, just like the sun is going his own way. And you see, we have all sinned. It says in Isaiah 53, 6a, all we, all we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. See, all of us have sinned. Now, can anybody think of a sin? Maybe it's hitting your brother or sister or cheating on a test. Sins are the everyday things that we do that displease God, that make him sad. And you see, we all sinned. I've sinned, Mr. Devin has sinned, your parents have sinned. Everyone has sinned. And we know that because it says so in the Bible. And you see, the punishment for that sin is separation from God. See, if this is God and this is us, that sin gets in the way and it separates us. It's a really sad thing, but it's because we choose our own way instead of God's way. Just like the son was choosing his own way instead of his father's way by partying and spending all the money he could. He was living really recklessly. Now, one day, his friends probably came up to him and were like, hey, let's go and party. And he reached into his pocket. Oh no, he had no more money left. And you know what? That's when his friends left him. And he was completely alone. The younger son was probably really sad. Aren't you guys really sad when you're alone? Now, not too much later, a famine came across the land that he was in. Now a famine is just when food isn't growing very right, isn't growing very well, and so there's not enough food for everybody. And food becomes very expensive. And you see, the, young, the younger son already didn't have any money. 
and he soon became very hungry. So hungry that he went to a local farmer and begged him for a job. He said, please, please give me a job. I'm so hungry. And the farmer said, you can go and feed my pigs. And you know what? He was very alone, but he had to feed those pigs because he was hungry. And while he was feeding those pigs, he got an idea. He was thinking, man, even the servants, the people that my father employs, eat better than me, are doing better than me. And so it says in the Bible in Luke chapter 15, verses 18 through 19, it shows his plan. And he said, I will arise and go to my father and I will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you. I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Treat me as one of your hired servants. His plan was to go back to his father and ask for forgiveness and become a servant, not his son, a servant. And so he decided to do it and he started walking along the road. Can everybody stand up and walk with me? Oh, you're hungry. You ever tried to walk when you're hungry? It's much worse. He's hungry, he's walking, it's a really long way. And he's walking and is walking. Well, one day, the father was out in his fields and he looked down and he saw a small figure off in the distance. He didn't quite know what it was. And so he looked at it and as it got closer, he started to see, and it was his son. And it's, the Bible says that the father ran down the road to meet his younger son. You see, he didn't care that his son had done terrible things and had spent all his money. He loved his son and he ran down the road and hugged him and forgave him. Just like this father wanted to give his son forgiveness, God wants to give you forgiveness. And his way was through Jesus Christ. You see, Jesus was fully God and fully man. He was the son of God. And he came down to earth willingly and he lived a perfect life. Remember when we said holy? Jesus was also holy. He never did anything wrong. And you see, as he became a man, people, people put him on the cross and killed him. He willingly bled and died for our sins. And you see, he died and he was buried. But three days later, he rose again. It says right here in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 3 and 4, Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried and he raised on the third day. Jesus died and came back to life. He died for our sins so that you could be forgiven. He wanted to forgive you just like the Father did. And you see, after he rose again from the dead, he went up to heaven and that's where he is now. And you see, he wants to forgive you just like the Father wanted to forgive his son. The son was like, I don't deserve this. Why are you forgiving me? And the father just embraced him. He gave him a ring, you know, an expensive ring and put it on his hand. And he said, go cook the best meal. He told his servants to go cook the best meal because my son has returned. He said, my son was lost, but now is found. And so they threw a grand party for the younger son when he came back. And everyone was having a great time and partying. But you remember when I told you someone wasn't having a good time at this party? That person was the older brother. And he came up to his father and he said, Father, I never took your money. I never left you. Why don't I get a party? He was really jealous. And you see, it says in the Bible that we shouldn't be jealous, especially if you've accepted Christ into your heart. God tells us when you've accepted Christ into your heart, to love everyone, especially when they come to Christ. It says in Luke chapter 15, verse 10, there is joy before the angels of God over one sinner who repents. You see, if you've accepted Christ, everyone around you, God loves. And it's your job to show those people that God loves you. You see, if, if you show them that love, maybe they trip. You're the one to pick them up because you have Christ in your heart and you want to show God's love to them. But you see, the older son wasn't showing God's love because he was being jealous. And you know what? When he came to his father and said, hey, this is unfair. I never did any of these things, but I don't get a party. The father said, 
What's mine is yours. The father loved both of his sons very much, and it made him very happy when his younger son came back. He wanted to forgive his younger son so much. See, just like God wants to forgive you, and he gave you this amazing way to have forgiveness, that way was Jesus. By dying on the cross and coming back, dying on the cross for your sins. It says in John chapter 1, verse 12, But to all who did receive him, who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. We want to give you a chance to become a child of God, to receive Christ into your heart. If that sounds like something that you want to do, please click the link uh, down below and, and learn more about what it means to accept Christ into your heart. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for this Good News Week. It's been so much fun, and even though we can't be with the kids, I hope that they have understood that you love them so much, and that Jesus came and died on the cross for them, and that he rose back again, and that he is living in heaven now, and that gift is for them. I just pray that they understand this, and that they all stay safe. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, boys and girls, and now it's time for a song. That's the karate song. And it, like the one earlier, we're going to start off in our favorite karate poses. So get ready. I will call upon the Lord. Ha! For he is worthy to be praised. Ha! I will call upon the Lord. Ha! For he is worthy to be praised. Ha! Hosanna! Ha! Blessed be the rock, blessed be the rock of my salvation. Hosanna, blessed be the rock, blessed be the rock of my salvation. Now, if you guys remember last time in our missionary story, Eric Liddell was taken to a prison camp by one of the Japanese armies. And while he was there, he was trying to find ways for the young men and women and boys and girls who were there to have fun because they were wrongly put up in this jail and prison and so what he decided to do was he decided that he would create a sports club for them because he had as you remember from the very beginning of the story in the beginning of the week he had a lot of knowledge in sports because he used to do the 100 meter races so he started sports clubs for the boys and girls um the prison guards allowed him to create a sports club where they could play games like soccer or hockey um, on the ground or like tennis or things like that and so he would do everything he could to make sure these boys and girls would have fun, even though they were impri imprisoned. He would do things like tear up his own bed sheets to repair hockey sticks or uh, find ways to make tennis balls for them, even though it made him very tired and he had lots of other things he had to do in the prison camp. And you see, boys and girls, he was often very hungry, but he would still do the work of others, even though he didn't have to. And you see, boys and girls, many people knew him for loving Christ and for the good things he'd always say about Christ. He, even inside the prison camp, he always taught people about the love of God. And many people in the prison camp actually ended up coming to Jesus Christ through what Eric told them. And the boys and, uh, the boys and girls, along with everyone in the prison camp, they got very excited about all the things that he told them. And they often wondered where he got all this joy from. What they didn't realize was that he got his joy from the Lord. Each morning when he'd wake up in the prison camp, he'd, turn, he'd get his little oil lamp and he'd light it and he'd read his Bible and stay in God's word and gain his joy from God and know exactly what God wanted him to do that day. He would pray and read his Bible. That was his secret. Just like if you're a child of God, you can pray and read your Bible too. You see, boys and girls, the end of Eric Liddell's story is actually very sad. Even though he ended up saving many people, he got very sick. And while he was in the hospital, many people came to him and he would, they would try and cheer him up, and he, they did cheer him up. And people would even come to him to talk about Jesus, and he loved talking about Jesus. He was so happy when someone would come to visit him and talk about Jesus. And he ended up talking about Jesus up until the day that he ended up dying. And he was, even though he died, he knew that he was going to spend his life with God, or his eternal life with God up in heaven. And he was not scared at all when he died, and he was happy. You see, boys and girls, just like Eric, if you have trusted in Jesus Christ, uh, God wants you to tell others about him and what he has done in your life, just like Eric Liddell did that for others. If you haven't become a child of God, God would like you to accept his gift of salvation so that you can have this joy that Eric Liddell had and the joy that he gave to others. 
because he loves you very, very much. In John 3, 16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And that means you. He loves you very much and wants you to have a personal relationship with him. Now we're going on to balancing everyone, all right? What we're going to be doing is doing what we call a front kick stretch balance, all right? So what I want you to do from here is to grab your knee and hold it up. Good. We'll hold for five seconds. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's see if you guys can do this. Turn around kick position. Woo, balance yourself. One, two, three, four, and five, and down. Excellent. Let's work on the other side, everyone. Knee up and hold. One, two, three, four, five. Turn to round kick position. Balance yourself. Ready? And one, two, three, four, and five. All right. Woo. All right. We are stretched out. We're warmed up. Mr. Chung's going to take a sip of his water over here. And we will continue to learn to block. All right. Today's class, like I said, I don't teach my new kids how to kick or to punch before they go ahead and prove to me that they have good character. Uh, I teach a martial arts called Taekwondo, which is a self-defense, all right? And what that means is that you, it's a martial arts that teaches how to defend yourself. So we're going to learn some basic blocks, and I'm going to go ahead and do some techniques with you over here, all right? So everyone, what I want you to do is put your left hand up high like this, all right? When I say high block, bring your hand up, all right? Do that again. High block and up. Good. Let's try that five times. Ready? And go. High block. One. And back. Ready? Two. And back. And three. And back. And four. And back, and five, excellent. If you watch Mr. Chung over here, I make sure I get my hand above my head because what we're simulating is a block. If someone's trying to attack you coming down on top of your head, you're using your forearm to protect your face, all right? So everyone, let's make sure the hand goes up super high. Ready, and go. One, excellent. High block. Two, high block, three, high block, four, high block, five. All right, let's get one of the big round of blocks, all right? All right, we're gonna go ahead and learn another block over here, which is called the push block, all right? So what you can do is you're just simply pushing something away that is coming towards you. So if someone's trying to kick you, you are blocking and pushing it away, all right? So everyone, ready? And push block, one. Push block, two. Push block, three. Push block, four. Push block, five. Push block, six. Push block, seven. Push block, eight. Push block, nine. Push block 10. Great job, everyone. All right. Gonna try to get a little interactive with you here, all right? 
If I have this bopper up and I'm going like this, what should you be doing? That is correct. You should go ahead and have your left hand up and you should be high blocking. If I were to come this way, what should you be doing? Hmm. For those of you who are correct, yes, another high block with your right hand, all right? If I come towards the middle, what should you be doing? Push block, all right? Anyway, we're gonna go ahead and see if you guys can keep up with Mr. Chuck. We'll go very basic first, everyone. Here we go, which side I'm gonna have. Make sure you're the right, or the correct hand up. High block, excellent. High block, good. High block, awesome. High block. Tried to fool you there. You should have your left hand, right hand up over there. High block, high block, high block, high, 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 yeah. All right. Hope you guys are going over there blocking really uh, crazy over there. All right. Ready, everyone? And push block. High block, high block, high push, high push, high push. High, 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 push, high, high, push, push, high, 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 high block. <laughs> All right, everyone. We're going to do one more thing over here, and we're going to call it the class for the day. All right? We're going to go out there and jump, and we're going to go out there and duck, and we're going to go out there and get out of the way, all right? Another way of defending yourself is not just blocking, but to avoid people from hitting you, all right? So I need you to go out there and when I, when, and later when I say duck, you stand down low. When I say jump, you jump up high. When I say get out of the way, you just slide over, all right? Ready, everyone? And jump, woo! Ready, jump! Woo! Ready and duck! Awesome! Duck! Get out of the way! And get out of the way! And jump! Ready? Jump! Ready and duck! And duck! And get out of the way! Alright! Let's give everyone a big round of applause. Alright, Mr. Chung's gonna bring Mr. Noodle into the picture right now. If I do this, you need to obviously what? Duck. If I do this, you gotta jump. All right? If I do this, you gotta get out of the way. All right? Are you guys ready? I can't hear you. Are you ready? Say yes, sir. Ready and duck. Ready and duck. Ready and duck. Ready and jump. Woo! I hope those knees got up high. Jump again. And duck. And get out of the way. And duck. And jump. And duck. 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 And jump. 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 Get out of the way. Get out of the way. And duck. Duck. Duck, duck, jump, 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 and high block! <laughs> Ready and push block! And duck! And high block on this side! And duck, 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 jump, jump, get out of the way! Let's give everyone a big round of applause. All right. Anyway, this is our basic class that we do. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Mr. Chung may teach you how to correctly punch, how to correctly kick, and how to go out there and kick high, all right? So everyone, let's go out there and bow out. Everyone, feet together. Everyone say, Johnny Up. Everyone say, Kyung Nap. When I say class dismiss, you say Christ is right. Class dismiss.
Christ is right. When I say Christ is right, you say attitude. Christ is right. Attitude. When I say how do we lead, you say by example, sir. How do we lead? By example, sir. Everyone, bow to Mr. Chung. I'm going to bow to you. I'm going to say thank you, class. And I expect you to bow back to me and show respect and say, thank you, sir. All right. Double high fives for everyone. Hope you enjoyed my class. Have a super fantastic day. Hope to see you soon. God bless. Olay, I'm so glad you're back with us today. Yeah, yeah, me too. I hope you had fun this week at Good News Across Sports Camp. Ooh. Be sure and come out tonight for the drive-thru parade. I, I can't see. drive. I can't drive. How about your mom? Okay. Okay. Get your mom to drive you out for the drive-thru parade so you'll see all your coaches and teachers and kids. You'll even come and see Olay. Olay. You'll also get your Good News Across Sports medal and t-shirt if you completed at least one camp per day. That, that, that's good because I, 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 I need another t-shirt. Yeah. You'll get another one tonight, so be Yay. sure and come and join us, okay? See you tonight. See you tonight. Bye.